Hey, how goes it? Welcome back to the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. We are going to try some stuff. I'm going to get rid of these because I know I'm going to end up removing them anyways. This is still probably going to be useful, but uh, what I want to do real quick... We're going to go... Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm also going to remove a couple barricades. This one... And that one. Alright, back to our main room, which is our testing room. Uh, barricades first, I guess. I'm gonna go... We'll put them here. <coughs> I just need some kind of artificial wall thing. Um, and then what we're gonna do... It's a very loud truck in the background, just pay it no mind, it's fine. Um, do we have enough to craft any more ballistas? Nope, still need these. Fuck me. Alright, let's just pick up one or two. Where's a good place? We'll pick up these two. Uh, I could just move them, but I don't want to drag around. Oh, I got stuff to sell too. I forgot about that. Oh, junk. 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 All junk. Alright. So. Let's take our trap. I'm going to put a couple of these here. Um, and I'm going to pick up. I'll just try and drag this. <coughs> Excuse me. Put it there. Alright. So, what I want to see is if I walk up to that barricade, are those ballistas going to destroy the barricade? Yeah, they're just hitting the barricade. They're, they're not even going over. That's useless. Fuck. Alright, well, that's one plan tested. Um, I don't know how to do anything else other than to just put them on the other side of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's, let's try this. I'm gonna put them... Let's move some stuff around. Stay there. You can go there. I'm gonna put these like this. So now what I wanna do... I want to see if I got very close to that wall, would they still hit it? I'm right here. Yeah, that doesn't help me in the slightest. I can literally just destroy the barricade with those. So putting ballistas right on the wall, probably a bad idea. Shit. Um, what do I want to do then? <coughs> Alright, here's an idea. Let's look at the boss room for a second. What if we moved this wall to the middle? Uh, see, this is tricky. Because, okay, let's, let's review our goals here. Goal number one, the most important thing. Put some sort of attacking thing here. We need something that can attack as far back as possible. Um, a row of cannons would do it. Um, goal number two. Prevent people from getting that far. So, if we put a row of cannons here, and then seven blocks away, put a wall, <coughs> that would mean that the ballistic cannons wouldn't trigger on the wall up here, uh, approximately seven blocks away from their range, and then just continue to have traps past the wall, um, and then all the bosses and stuff up here. So what we want to do is we want to try and confine them to as small an area as possible, 
if they break through, we still want it to be dangerous. They've just made a larger dangerous area. Ideally, we'd have all the damage packed into this area, which is kind of what we got right now. Um, and theoretically, we could just get rid of this mouse trap and um, put a wall somewhere around here. But we're going to have to actually count things out. How big are these? They're four. So we'd have to put the wall... Let's see, so two... No, wait, it's got to start from here. So two, six... The wall would have to go right here. And we'd have to see if that didn't hurt anything. Alright. <coughs> the large renovation begins now. Uh, luckily these guys will stay until we find something that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of all the mobs. Except for this guy, he can stay there. Uh, we're going to start getting rid of all this stuff. I prefer to pick things up and then put them back down. It just works better for me. Alright, so... Um, I guess we'll pick these things up too. We're going to have to reallocate some points, obviously. Uh, for now, it doesn't really matter that much because the whole place is going to get rebuilt. Oops, that was the wrong one. What the fuck does that arrow go to? It's not really above anything. Do you have no power? Okay, that was the one. Okay, <coughs> everything's powered again. Let's start throwing down traps. Alright, how far does this go? Right there. Alright, so, in theory, that should hit in that corner. We need to focus focus most of them... Let me count the spaces. Three spaces away. Three spaces away. We need to focus most of them in the middle here, facing... Like, like I've got a couple here to cover these corners, that's fine. But... This would be preferable, or maybe even a third one. And I want to see if those reach. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop... Because we're going to have, like... A, uh, like a middle ground here where it's like no man's land where there's not going to be much of anything. Is that centered? Yes. So I want to test this real quick. <coughs> Without any mobs or anything, this is going to be kind of a pitiful boss room. So I should just be able to rush right up to it. And they're just destroying my own barricades. But I want to test the um, distance here. I'm just going to like sloppy as hell run through here. Come on, charge. There we go. Yep. Don't care. Don't care. Don't care. Alright, cool. Alright. Aggro distance. Right here. Now the problem is the damage distance is a little further, but if we put the wall right there, it should be okay. So that's only... Four away? Yeah. So... It won't aggro until I'm in the barricade, probably. I probably should have put a barricade right here to test that. Um, but once you break a barricade, it doesn't really matter anymore. Um, Okay, what's the distance here? See, I can... There's no way I can get damage over here. It's so disappointing. This is the safest place in the whole castle. It's like, I have to go... Let's see, how far up do I have to go? Let's turn this way. So, I ha if I stay behind this line, which is one square plus the two squares here, nothing can hurt me. I just have to put a bunch of mobs and hope that they wander back here, unassisted by traps, and just try and kick some ass. Alright, let's check these corners. Can you hit me? Wow. In the furthest point of the corner? Oh wait, maybe. 
Hang on, let me get... Yeah, okay, that works. Okay, that reaches. I want to make sure it reaches all the way around. It's still targeting me. How far away do you go? Is this safe? That's safe. And that should be in the barricade. So if I'm one step past the barricade, he'll start shooting at me. Good. This is what we need. I'm thinking two more of these up here to do some damage. And we'll have to think about making sure we have mobs that make people not want to stand right back here. That means not Zeke's. Um, cause that, you guys have seen me murder Zeke's back here. Um. Alright. So far so good. So. Barricade here. Let's see. Um, inventory, barricades, big barricades. Start putting them here. So, now, here's an interesting thing. If we put... <coughs> if we put ballistas... I mean, we'll just move some stuff. If we put ballistas on the end of this, they will be able to shoot up to the wall. Actually, no, we're gonna, we're gonna have to test that. Um, let's get rid of this. And I'll remove this for now. I'm just gonna get rid of anything that is for extra, like just using up extra points. Filling out extra space and using up extra energy cost. <coughs> so what I'm going to do here... Um, we're going to need a dedicated side for testing. Actually, you know what? We know what we're going to do, so let's just chuck a lot of these. Alright. So let's figure this out. You are... right on the edge. I want to see where the damage ends. I'll put you one further back. Put you one further back. One further back. And one further back. <coughs> this shouldn't reach at all. This I'm expecting to reach. Um, I kind of just want for a control to put one even closer, but I just want to make sure these are all the right distance. Is that right? Yeah. Isometric views, man. Alright, so... This should continue... Actually, you know what? We are going to make a control. Let's, um... Right along this line. We'll put you one closer. That should fail no matter what. And this should fail in the exact opposite. You'll see what I mean here in a second. Let's validate and see what it looks like. First, I'm going to take a drink of tea so I don't die. Okay, thank you for waiting while I try and prevent myself from hacking and coughing. I keep forgetting to remove these barricades. Go away, barricades. Alright. So when I get up there, I'll explain exactly what I'm trying to test. Wonderful, don't care. Okay, let's kill you real quick. Get over to a safe spot. Excuse me. <coughs> Alright. So, the idea... <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. The idea here is to find an area where I can get up to this wall and the ballista doesn't hit it. So we know this one fails. Now this one should also fail. Let's see. Or actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand right here. Okay, so he's not shooting. Let me rotate camera. This one's not shooting. Can't rotate camera and walk. So 
See, that's a problem. The splash damage of this thing is too large to put near these things. I'm going to have to find something else, and I think I'm going to use the, ro the rotating traps. Um, because I can have them brush right up against it and not actually hit it. But that's going to mean a lot of rotating traps. And they're expensive. Both in defense cost and in materials. So let's chuck all of you guys for now. Since we're testing. Um, now the only problem with this is it is kind of difficult to see exactly how far the fire goes. Because <coughs> it's not actually accurate to the animation. Um, it's close, but that might still hit. So I'm going to take that one and put it there. Um, it's level with this line. So I'm going to actually move this out of the way and we're gonna move this one one closer and I want to see if those both hit or either of them hits this one looks like it's gonna hit but that might not actually do it uh, let's wait for a straight on one see that might just lick up against it and not actually hit um, now the only problem with this trap <coughs> is it's going to it's going to hit all the mobs that we put up here and we want mobs up here to slow them down you know we want goat men and stuff um let's go in here and see if either of these break the barricade it's going to get past this thing. The fact that that also breaks so quickly is kind of deterring. I mean, I know they're going to be important for this build, but still, it's, um, it's not helping me any. All right. Let's murder you as quickly as we can. <coughs> okay, this one's too close. Let's see if this one can hit me. Can't hit me there. Wow, it can't hit me anywhere. No, stop attacking, fuck. So if I'm right up against this... Once in a while, it can hit me. Uh, I guess we're going to have to use hamster wheels. And of course, this is an issue, because if you want to break these, you can break them. Man, I, if this would all be fixed if they just let me put, you know, traps back here. Oh, God. All right. Let's see. <coughs> what to do? Let me know if this is useless. I don't want to just go back to the old design, which I can't do anyways kind of annoying <coughs> but I don't want to just go back to the old design and improve on that slightly because the problem is over here this is this is a castle killer and everyone has it which is stupid um, I think it's just not a very well designed thing to not allow traps here and and another thing to not allow traps in the segments between castle things between like the rooms it's also a big thing, because, I mean, yeah, it just, it feels like they're kind of pigeonholing you into using specific things on the edges of things, like, like hamster wheels. Really the only thing I can use in that, in that particular situation. So, I don't know what else to do about that, you know? Um, 
I guess what we'll do... Because this isn't working. We can go back to the old design. <coughs> except move the, uh, the boss room forward. Like the bosses, the actual boss and all the mobs forward more. But that still doesn't help the back of the castle. I'm totally at a loss for what to do with the back of the castle other than put a bunch of mobs that would cause trouble in the back. Um, what would work well there? I was thinking maybe like we need AOEs, lots of AOEs, and I'm thinking this Stairmaster is not horrible even though the damage is kinda pitiful. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, I'm not sure. We need stuff to put AoEs back here and make people not want to move, or not want to stand still, rather. Because if you can just get to the back and basically just walk back and forth here, you're safe. Um, I don't know. I'm going to take some time to think about this. Also, when do we get the silencing things? Freaking level 10, jeez. And that's gonna be expensive. I think we need more options, though, and I think this is gonna be helpful, and having more creatures is gonna be helpful, so I'm gonna start grinding, I think. And then we'll think about reverting back to the old design, or going with a new one. Um, cause I, I need to solve this problem. If I can't solve this problem, can't make a good castle. I mean, another option that I was thinking is just put the two rows of um, the traps, and then, I don't know. The splash damage off of these makes it not viable one way or another. And I can't think of anything else. Um, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. But I'm currently out of ideas. <coughs> because of this one mechanic of not allowing me to put traps past this point. I mean, even if they let me put it up to this point, I could fix this problem. But, as it is, there's a safe zone, and it's... There should never be a safe zone. Another thing that they need to fix, make this freaking drawbridge go back up after it goes down. Like, it goes down, you walk across it, it comes up behind you, you're trapped in here. Because I would love to put a trap hell right in this first room, but I know what would happen. The thing would go down, and they would cross it. And if I had any monsters in here, they would just turn around and walk back. It's not worth it. Um, I, but I wouldn't mind putting like groups of 20-something points of enemies in here to start crushing people up against this wall. I don't know. Feels kind of like a lost cause. Oh, well. We'll start grinding, we'll start upgrading our, uh, this thing that's going to be really, really expensive. We're probably, yeah, we're going to need another level anyways. So that'll be fun. We'll do that next. That's our next goal.